it hurts when you're trying to be a good person and you, you're trying your best to be a good Christian and sometimes the light around you, the light of Christ will very often shine through and sometimes the light in you, you don't have to do or say anything wrong to some people that irritates the darkness that's within them. And they tell one person this lie and then another person and then another person because they're trying to make you look bad. Oh yeah, don't let it get to you. And it's like the domino effect. But the lies, the gossip, the rumors, they go straight from their lips to God's ears. So don't let it get to you. It's gonna be okay. You keep on doing what you're doing, keep on keeping on. I mean, there's just some people that you can't please them. They will hate you just for breathing out the wrong nostril. And just know, God knows your heart. God knows the truth. And it doesn't matter what anybody else says about you. You just keep bringing light into this very evil, messed up world. God says, even if sometimes you pray through gritted teeth, and clench fist. Call upon God for help. Matthew 5, 4, 4 says, But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and prosecute you. Proverbs 15, 1. A soft answer turns away wrath. That's hard to do. But a harsh word stirs up anger. That's hard to do. Turn the other cheek. Romans 15, 17. If someone has done you wrong, do not repay him with wrong. Other words, monkey see, monkey do. Don't do that. Just clench those fists. Not in their face, but <laughs> clench your fist and Grit your teeth and walk away. Matthew 5, 11. Blessed are you when others revile, revile you and prosecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For they prosecuted the prophets who were before you. And then Psalms 23, 5. You prepare a table, O God, before my enemies, you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. It's hard when you are a good person. Some people just, you rub them wrong. And then there's other people that your light will draw them to you for good things. So don't let the hatred of others discourage you. When you get attacked from the mighty moron, Satan himself, you're doing something right. Pray for your enemies. You know, you can love somebody from afar, you know, but don't let the darkness snuff out the light of Christ within you. I know it's easier said than done. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I wanna go 1985 on some people sometimes. But I don't. No, I don't. God's worked on me a lot. But just love your enemies, pray for them, walk away, and keep shining that light for Christ. And remember, count your blessings instead of your stressing. God bless.